Hello, my name is uh, Guillaume Trimbach. I'm working for RT, the French Transmission System Operator of Electricity, and I will introduce the Let's Coordinate project. Let's Coordinate is a project under the umbrella of the Linux Foundation Energy. All the code source will be available on GitHub. To access to the tool, you arrive to this portal. The name of this portal is Operator Fabric, which is another application of the Linux Foundation Energy, which is able to support many kinds of applications. In that case, I will present you Let's Coordinate, which is based on this framework. So I will connect as RT, but we can connect as other user. When you connect to the application, you arrive to this framework. On the top, you have a menu which presents the different screen of the tool. On the left part, you will receive some notifications, which are really useful for the service. When you open card, you will have the result on the right part. Here I'm connected as RT, but during the demonstration, I will connect as other user. Let's start with creating a new notification, a new event for the coordinated security analysis by clicking on this menu. You have to select first if the constraint is for today or tomorrow. What is the contingency? So that means what is the tripping element? For example, a line between France and Belgium. Then you have to indicate what is the constraint, what is the element in overload. So I will select here the element I want to put in overload. And here I need to indicate what is the overload on the lines 106%. Now I will indicate what is the period of this constraint, what, when this constraint appears. So I can select from this time to this one, for example. Now I should indicate what is the remedial action. In case there is no remedial action, no identify remedial action, I have nothing to do, but in that case, I will propose one. A two node topology in the substation Avalon. And now I should uh, explain what is the effect of this remedial action. So if you use this set of remedial action, you will decrease the constraint and you will arrive to 98%. And then I need to select to which TSO I want to send this card. In that case, I will select TSO which are uh, concerned by this uh, constraint. So I will select Elia, for example, and then RT. So now I will check my card before sending. This is uh, how it looks like. So now I'm able to send the card. Let's see what happened now in the feed. So here I am in the feed of RT, and as you can see, I received the notification. I will open the card to see what happened. And now you see the content of the card. So you can see this is exactly the same event we declare with the two nodes topology in the Avalanche substation. And we can see what is the status of the coordination. For the moment, the coordination is under approval. Nor Elia or RT, the, the TSO impacted by this constraint, accept for the moment. In that case, I'm RT. I will accept this constraint. I will show you now the coordination screen. Here you can see this is the event we created. So here I can see the detail of the situation. We know that RT accept, and now I will connect as Elia to continue the coordination. So let's move to the Elia side. Here I'm in the Elia side. As you can see, they receive exactly the same notification as for RT. When you open the card, you can see RT already accept the coordination. After making a study, they will decide to accept also the remedial action. In that case, what will happen? If we check in the coordination screen, you can see that the coordination was accepted and you see that RT and Elia agree on this uh, proposal. A confirmation of this coordination is done by receiving a green card. And if you open the green card, you can see that the event was well coordinated. Now, you see Corezo is aware of, of this. So we will check what happened in Corezo side. What you can see, you can see that Corezo even if it's not a TSO and they will not accept or reject the remedial action, they are able to monitor what happened because they receive also the status of the coordination and they have also the possibility to monitor the coordination screen. Now let's move to the other screen of the application. So I can show you the monitoring screen. Here the idea is to log every action. You can see that some proposal were done and it was accepted. And now the last screen is the synthesis screen. Here, the idea is to have the KPI, the Key Performance Indicator of the process. I will select a period here. By clicking on this button, I can see, here I can see the graph. So what are the constraints, the number of constraints detected per day? Here I can see the most detected constraint in the period. See also the most used remedial action to relieve constraint. So this was the presentation of the Let's Coordinate project. This project is under the umbrella of the Linux Foundation Energy and all the code source will be available on GitHub. Thanks for your intention.